Assalamu alaikum viewers, today we will start with the topic of communication models and the CMAP analysis. We will discuss two communication models and the CMAP model. So the first one is simple transactional model. This model reflects the two way nature of communication. It works in principle for all types of oral and written communication. Simple transactional model. How it works? On one side there is sender and the other side is receiver and the, in the middle is the transmission and the feedback. It is a simple transitional model. An interference transitional model. It is a complex model. It caters for interference that is there in real world communication. More suitable for verbal communication. The characteristics of an interference transitional model. Uh, the sender has an idea that is put into an appropriate language. The sender uses a transmission vehicle. When the receiver decodes, the transmission is susceptible to misunderstanding of structure and differing interpretation of words. Both sender and receiver may respond to feedback. The real world communication is always subject to interference, external or internal. This is uh, an interference transitional model. Here, a sender uh, voice is also encoded and at receiver end it is decoded. But in the middle, there is a feedback and interference in the transmission. So the CMAP communication model. The CMAP communication model is designed specifically for technical communication. It consists of five components that are context, message, audience, purpose and product which become CMAP model. So CMAP model, uh, this is the CMAP model in which everything is related to each other, message, context, audience, product and purpose. Context refers to the surrounding situation. It may include, but is not limited to personal relationships, time and space, all circumstances that may influence the people and the communication involved, external and internal interference that might have an impact. Message refers to the content of the communication and uh, might include an overview of the situation the most significant facts, issues and questions, the relevant a primary message, a secondary message details. It is similar to the receiver in the trans transactional model. It includes a primary audience, a secondary audience and sometimes a territory audience. Purpose refers to why you are communicating. The concept include your motive, our motives, the possibility of a secondary purpose, the reaction that you expect from your audience and the response you wish to elicit. It is the shape of communication or the physical form it takes. The choice of product will affect and be affected by the context, message, audience and purpose. Thus the term would include but is not limited to letter, memo, report, email, taxes, website, proposals, brochure and summaries, user manuals. So knowing your audience, before beginning to write, you must know who you, uh, your potential audience will be. Audience be discussed in detail later as a separate topic of lecture in next and further videos. So attitude. One common pitfall when adjusting to the uh, audience is writing with an I attitude rather than you attitude. A U attitude focuses on the needs, interests and concerns of the receiver whereas an I attitude focuses on sender. 